Good morning, this is Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. I want to make this video to show you the awesome 2021 Winnebago Hike 210 RV that we have available. So this RV is 25 feet total. It is about 4,400 pounds empty and 6,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. This is a rear bathroom and I am a big fan of rear bathrooms in smaller campers. This is a six and a half foot wide uh, camper so having a rear bathroom is great because you have the whole width of the box here uh, for the bathroom stainless steel sink plenty of storage with the European style cabinetry we have an outdoor kitchen on this model beneath but inside you have this whole space for storage here which is really great hangers there radio is located back here it is multifunction thermostat for the furnace is there super deep cabinetry in this camper which is really great awesome use of space this one does have the propane electric refrigerator here i know that a lot of brands are going to 12 volt but i've had a few customers that uh, would like to have this traditional type for going off grid heat is here with the propane furnace uh breaker box and converter is there as long as or as well as a safety device here we have a convection microwave so you can bake in it. I know a lot of customers prefer this over the uh, standard type of uh, oven you would find in most campers. Range hood actually works, it will then outside. It's got a very nice backsplash here. Looks very classy compared to some others that are out there. Here we have a three burner cooktop. So we have the rear two for simmering, front one for boiling. Little handle here, storage here. And more storage beneath, which is nice. We have a residential style faucet here with a one piece of stainless steel sink. As sanitation is more important now than ever. There we go. And if you didn't have enough storage, you have more here over the sink. Power here for a coffee maker, blender, whatever you need. Storage underneath the sink there. Drawers. You also have a little pop-up deal here for additional prep space. USB chargers here, LED light there. Here we have right by the door, all of your controls. So nice thing about Winnebago is that you actually have a power switch for your slide for safety. So it's not gonna move unless you have the button turned on. And I am hooked up to the golf cart right now. So what I can do is go ahead and bring the slide in. I'm just gonna move the uh, table out of the way here. So, power is on. Let me go ahead and bring the slide in. There you go. So, this is the space with the slide in there. Let's see if I can get to the bathroom. And there we go, success. Here's the view from the bathroom. You can also get to the fridge as well, which is really great. Full access opening the door there, as well as the freezer. So let's go ahead and open it back up. So of course, the table will sit here to make a bed. So although it is a rear bathroom, more of a couple's coach, you can sleep one or two adults on here. There's additional power there. A little bit of storage there, as well as here. Nice thing about this table, it is freestanding. All you have to do is pull this lever to collapse it or open it up. Uh, you can also bring it outside and use it outside if you would like, which is great versus like a traditional type of dinette.
And because it's a U-shaped dinette, you have room for the whole family here to enjoy a meal, play a card game, whatever you want. Here we have the main entrance. Back to the controls. We have awning as well. Uh, for safety, you have to turn the power switch on to open it and close it. This does have 12 volt tank heaters as well. So if you go to a place with colder temperatures, you just turn this on and the 12 volt pads will start heating your tanks so they don't freeze. One thing I really appreciate about Winnebago is that with the propane electric water heater, you actually have a switch inside because on a lot of other campers, you actually have to go outside and flip the switch. So you just do it from here, uh, propane heat with a water heater and electric heat uh, with shore power, which is nice. Uh, it does have a built-in water pump as well. So if you're going off grid uh, with fresh water in the tank, you just turn that on and it'll circulate your water. Here we see how full our battery is from empty to full, as well as the fresh tank, black tank and gray tank. So that's all that. And then we have light switches here. Uh, as you see, some of the lights are still on, but these are push button, so you can individually turn them off and on uh, in addition to the two main switches that we have here. Here we have the main entrance. Up front, we have the Murphy bed. I really like Winnebago's Murphy beds because they are super easy to transform. And the great thing about the Murphy beds, you have two sitting areas during the day and also gives you more space in here when you come in. So it has a wireless phone charger right here. Storage, it's also part of the outside storage there. We also have two drawers here. So really one of the most amazing uh, uses of space that I've seen on a small camper with storage all over the place. So now we're ready to go to sleep. Let's go ahead and convert it. So you just grab the front, it lays flat like so, grab the handle, and we have a bed with enough room for two adults there. We have nightstands on each side of the bed, standard chargers and USBs on the right. We have this little shelf here with additional power there. Let's say it's time to wake up. Once you lift it past a certain point, the struts lift itself so it's super easy and you're really at a 90 degree angle. It doesn't hang over like on some others. So there you go. You also have a cutout here uh, for ventilation. So it just opens up, which is nice. Some cross ventilation, that window opens as an emergency exit. This one opens as a regular window. We have blinds here, standard type blinds uh, for fire safety. We open this up, this window also opens. For hanging clothes, we have a huge compartment here. It's very tall. And I just absolutely love these type of uh, doors on the storage. They're very sleek, almost like you're in an airplane and they hold themselves up as well. If we lift this up, we have another window. So cross ventilation is really not a problem on this camper. Here's that internet that we saw there. Television is included and it is on a swivel as well, which is nice. You can get a couple different viewing angles, built-in speakers here. Here we have the AC as well. You can control the output directionally by opening and closing these different vents here, which is really nice. They just uh, give you an overview here. And now from the bathroom. And now we'll step outside. So the nice thing about this model and Winnebago includes the screen shot. So the screen door actually closes itself when you're leveled out. I wish all RV manufacturers did that standard, but they don't. This window uh, also comes with the thin shade, which is about a hundred dollar value. So that is built in already. Again, this is the Winnebago Hike 210 RB. This RV is super lightweight. All of the hikes are under 4,500 pounds empty. It is a tandem axle, which is really great. 
if you want the additional security of two axles but don't want something too heavy, this is exactly where the hikes fit in. Starting up front, we have an electric tongue jack. Nowadays, a lot of components are getting harder to find, including tongue jacks. So what's nice is this one's electric. You don't have to worry about hand cranking, especially if you have a uh, equalizer hitch that makes it a lot easier to hook and unhook. This is a two and five sixteenths ball. It does have a seven way, which is how all the lights are on right now, plugged into our golf cart. So you can run all of the lights, the awning, the slide, the radio, and the electric awning. Cool thing about the hikes is that you have this uh, box up front gives a very rugged look and gives you more protection for your battery and propane tanks. You can also fit some additional items in there. This does include two tanks. Uh, if we can't earn your business, we will wash it, detail it, fill the propane tanks, install a deep slack interstate marine battery, and make it ready and give you an hour instruction with our technicians to show you how everything works. Of course, one of the most striking features versus other lightweight campers is that this one does have the exoskeleton. So you can put bikes, kayaks, tools, whatever you want outside. This is a aluminum frame. Here we have the outside storage there that you see it's all opened up, it is passed through. These also have magnets, not clips. They hold themselves open. These have manual stabilizers. There are pros and cons to manual and electric stabilizers, but it saves you weight, saves you cost. And you can also use a uh, drill in a three quarter inch bit to raise and lower these jacks. The spare tire is here. You just operate this nut to raise and lower the spare there. It's got a nice size electric awning, white LED lights outside. You can work these speakers just inside, just outside, or both. This RV uh, also is made with Asdel. So what most RVs use behind the fiberglass is Luon, which is basically over glorified plywood. The main issue with Luon is that it can come uh, off of the fiberglass. So with this, you have less than 1% chance of it delaminating where it bubbles like on older campers. Asdel is stronger and lighter and also it does not mold if it gets uh, wet. You have a three year limited structural warranty on the Winnebago and a one year limited bumper to bumper. Here we have two independent torsion axles. So that offers you much better stability going down the road. And these are 15 inch tires, off-road tires versus 14s that you see on most. Here we have the fresh water fill if you're going off grid. Access for the refrigerator for maintenance. Water heater is here. You have electrical here furnace exhaust there so if you're standing outside you can gather some warmth standing over here here we have the outdoor kitchen so we have a two burner cooktop here with the wind guard if you want to collapse it it's super easy just like that you do have a sink here with hot and cold water that is removable just close these in secure that for transport and you're ready to go you also have an rdq quick connect for propane so you can hook up the grill to there or purchase a different hose online and hook up any propane grill that pulls off your tanks up front. So here we have more of the exoskeleton, LED tail lights. These are much brighter and safer than incandescent bulbs and will practically last a lifetime. Here we have the receiver hitch that is rated for a maximum load of 150 pounds. Nice thing about this camper, given the contour, it does have uh, prep for a Voyager camera which gives you video and audio. And we have the cameras in stock. And this RV also has solar, uh, as you see on the top left over there. Here we have an outdoor shower with hot and cold water. City water connection, black tank flush here. So whenever you have the black tank open, that will flush out a tank for you makes life a lot easier. It is also ready for cable. Here we have the gray and black dump station located in one spot, so you're not gonna need multiple hoses. 30 amp power here, which most parks are. This has a Schwintech slide system. As you see, you have two rails on each side of the slide, so those operate the slide in and out. Here we have the other side of the storage with a battery disconnect. So if you store your camper, just turn that, keeps your battery from depleting. And there you go. Okay guys, again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy, Texas. We'd love to earn your business. If you have any questions or concerns, give us a call or a text. Thanks again.